What's up, everybody? So takeaway for day to today is do what works, not what is sexy. And what I mean by that is I had a conversation with uh, one of our community members or packsters from our online accountability group called The Pack, and we were talking about how, well, you know, if you're not clear on what, you, what it is that you're wanting to do or where you're going, you'll find that you may just uh, flit around with your day-to-day -day activities and, you know, you may be doing things, but it's, it's not really leading you anywhere. And what that means is that you end up dabbling a lot. And I can say, I can, I can speak from experience because I've done this in the past, so that's how I can recognize it. When you do not get clear on what it is you're doing or where you're wanting to go, your activities become random, sprayed out, uh, and you end up doing things that you think might be getting you towards where you want to go when really it isn't. Um, and it can make you defensive too when, you know, uh, somebody uh, comes with you that challenges what you think you're doing is the right thing, and it may not be. Now, this isn't to say that uh, when people are challenging you that, you know, they're right automatically. Uh, of course, you need to trust your own instincts and gut because everybody's opinions are just that. But at the same time, uh, there are activities when it comes to business that are going to help get you business, new business, and activities that won't. And so it's important to identify, you know, what it is and what those activities are. So the, the general review for the day, um, you know, was a positive one for me personally. Uh, managed to secure some things from uh, a visa application for Singapore, which is good. Uh, had some currency conversion issues, which was not good. It's 0.91 Singapore dollars to Australian, like one Australian dollar now, which is madness because in May, uh, they were pretty much on par with each other. I think the Australian dollar was actually uh, greater or had more power then, not now. Uh, so yeah, definitely looking forward to a single global currency. Uh, also stumbled across uh, someone who's building a project called the Bank of Hodlers, which is interesting. It's a decentralized bank that is looking to focus on the borrowing and lending side. So right path in terms of where I see banks sort of shifting their roles. Because uh, with cryptocurrencies, essentially every individual becomes their own private bank without the need for a bank to hold and store their money. Uh, the network does its thing and you remember your own password, private keys. But, of course, there's still a place. And, uh, yeah, the banks can focus on the uh, borrowing and lending side. So, yeah, with that, uh, I just hope that that's some food for thought in terms of the, yeah, doing what works versus what is sexy. Because I know in an, uh, an environment right now, especially in the West, with uh, social media, Instagram, those sort of things, which are all very vanity-focused, from a business standpoint, you can also then start to get drawn in by consumer behavior around, you know, doing things that may look good, but doesn't really get you to where you want to go. And uh, I've taken those lessons over the last decade to where I am now so that uh, with our business, FIA, we are focused on the things that uh, are going to bring in new clients versus things that are just, you know, there to make you look pretty. Uh, we are focused on helping blockchain startups and ventures and enterprises uh, with their community growth and management activities and we're going to focus there uh, now in the early days and then expand out later uh, when when we get there but for now stay focused not everything we do is going to be sexy but we know it will work and it will bring in money as is needed um, and at the same time remembering uh, the soul and heart of uh, what FIA actually means and I'll cover the definition of fire in another video. And with that, remember, through patience and persistence, it will come.